All right, what's up, everybody? We are here with my good friend Ricky Riley. Uh, gonna have him kind of introduce yourself, talk about you know your golf journey and whatnot, and why we got you here today, my man. All right, boys, I appreciate you guys having me on. Um, a big, big fan of golf, big fan of the podcast. I've been following it um, here a lot recently, and uh, decided I text Gary and see if I can get on here and talk about some of my experiences. And uh, just kind of talk golf with you guys. So I'm um, looking forward to kind of shooting it with you guys. And uh, a little bit about me. Um, I, I'm an avid golfer, love the game, and um, recently acquired my WR4GD pass. Um, for those of you who don't, <laughs> who don't know what that is, it's um, world ranking for golfers with disability. And I'm um, here to talk about that a little bit today. Yeah. Um, when did you start to get into golf then? Um, so I got into golf and started it when I was when I was pretty young. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really enjoy the game when I was younger. Um, I played on the school team uh, seventh and eighth grade year and just didn't have any interest in it, um, which is unfortunate because looking back, I, uh, I I see the kids who... I was kind of shoulder to shoulder with there and they've kind of taken off to be unbelievable golfers. And, uh, I do, I am curious what, what I'd be like in the golfing world if, if I had stuck with it. Um, so wasn't really active with it through high school. Um, and then COVID hit and I'm sure we can all relate that COVID was a huge sprouting moment for a lot of people's golf games. And, um, (laughs) mentally just kind of took it as a way to get away. Um, I was still playing hockey at the, at the time. So really I was, I was still competitive with hockey and busy with it. And then, um, once I, once I kind of stepped away from hockey, I needed something to be competitive with. Um, I needed something to really bring my competitive self. And I just wanted, I needed something to get better at and golf was that. And, um, golf kind of, I don't want to say changed my life, but definitely guided me to to new experiences. And I'm so thankful for that. Love the game. And, uh, and this year I decided I wanted to take it another step um, in the competitive level and found this and couldn't be more excited to be in the ranking system. Oh yeah. That's really cool. I mean, I remember when, when you texted me, I was reading it and I was like, Holy shit. I mean, this is I know. That's pretty sweet. I mean, even yeah. like, get to that level because even you know golf in any competitive nature is still it's still hard like it's oh it's yeah not an easy sport no Um, absolutely so i i guess kind of give me or give us like your thought process of like okay i want to get competitive with so like how did that start when's like the first event that you're going to and like kind of give us more insight onto that sure um so i decided um over the winter that I um I still wanted to do the stuff around here. Like you guys know, the um it's not called the post standard anymore. It's AIM, the AIM. AIM. Um so still doing AIM. Um I'm signed up this year for Lakeshore. Um so I'll be doing that. And um last year I missed the cut by two strokes um from the qualifier to go into the into the um actual AIM championship. So I'm a little hungrier this year and hopefully I'll get that. But, um, so I follow a fellow little person golfer, um, on social media and I see, I see, you know, what he's doing in these big events and stuff. And I, uh, my first step was, it was just like a simple pass, um, that would let you play in, um, some events, but, um, to be able to play in the U S adaptive open, you need a WR four GD. And that's more like uh, world ranking rather than just like uh, just disability golf. So right. yeah. um, I took that, uh, just needed to get examined by a professional or a medical professional. And, you know, obviously I passed the uh, requirements for uh, for short stature. I uh, I wasn't too worried about that, but. <laughs> you know, it got, got the thumbs up there. It, it was a quick conversation for like, sure. Obviously. Like, yeah, exactly. It was like, this kind of pointless, but if we need to do this, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll hop on a zoom call and we'll get this done. But, um, 
I'm glad you guys found humor in that because some people, got, some people don't. You got no, fuck that. Some people yeah, I mean, don't know how to react to that, so I appreciate the humor. No, you you got it. I mean, you're not gonna say it in in a non-joking manner. Like, come on. Exactly, so, exactly. So, so, um, so yeah, um, to get back on track, I'm 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 really just excited to be competitive, and um, you know, in in golf, there's so much room for improvement. Um, and it's a game that you can play until, uh, you know, you go out to any course, you see, you see guys who are, you know, they're, they're older, but they're, they're swinging it like unbelievably well. So I think that's one of the best, best parts. Uh, what's his name? Oh, the Chuck? Uh, Chuck, Chuck, Chuck Haller, Chuck Haller, man. This dude, super senior. He went out to the Winola, uh, um, member guest. This dude's fucking like 80, 85. Cool just dicking it down the fairway 120 oh. 150 yards par every every hole every love hole. it dude shoots like dude shoots like mid, like mid to high 70s low 80s he dude it's it's he won the super senior club champion that was like 70 plus but he also finished second in the senior which is 55 plus that's unreal just straight not not far but straight yeah golf i mean you can play like you said you can play it till you're a hundred years old. Um, our boy chef, yeah. like we said, he, he just he just gets it, and it, it's it's almost like at that point, it's like simplified movements. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's that's a, that's a great point. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.